Hi everyone, Richard here. Look what I have. This is the Tough Gaming Laptop from Asus. Uh, let's do an unboxing and see what's inside. It's interesting because this is a new model apparently from uh, with the AMD processor. So let's open it up. Oh, okay. Uh, interesting stickers we have here. We got your back. Uh, nice stickers. Okay, let's... This is actually the Asus Tough Gaming A15. Um, supposed to be but using a Ryzen 7 processor and uh, wow look at the power break it's huge this is a big power break uh, I think it's about 230 watts for for this power break and uh, running at 19.5 volts so you have to carry this quite heavy power break with you this is the metal fortress gray oh beautiful color and uh, there's no fingerprints on it the casing is quite solid uh, military great toughness uh, and nothing much in front and we we'll look at the size the, we have the speaker grills and then the USB A 2.0 and then the back part is the vents with the Kingston lock Let's look at the back. Uh, wow, very beautiful uh, copper grills we can have see behind there. As well as that's where the heat will be coming out uh, from the back. And on the left side, we have the PSU LAN HDMI 2.0 and two USB A 3.2 with the USB C 2.0 with the display port and the microphone headphone jack in. So quick look at the specs rundown. Uh, it's powered by Ryzen 7 4800H uh, with the RTX 2060 uh, with 6GB of DDR6 RAM. Okay, with the Armory Crate, you can have the silence mode, uh, which is very quiet and cool, and uh, balanced, which you can get the best of both worlds uh, with a bit of GPU and uh, silence sound but in turbo which uh, you have the max gpu and cpu so let's look at geekbench 4 uh, single core 5002 multi-core 29000 and uh, open cl is 185000 and a crystal disc mark uh, we have a read of 1009 and write of 1007 cinebench uh, we can hit about 4001 which is uh, quite high Okay, next up, uh, we're going to test out the speakers and um, this is at 100% uh, percent, uh, max volume uh, It can hit about, about 70 decibel um, max and this is rather quite loud and the speakers are very bassy and uh, clear so it's not bad for a gaming laptop with uh, new speakers on board So now we can look under the hood uh, I have to open this up it takes 11 screws you have to open them from the back middle and front and it's relatively easy to open the case at the bottom there's some vents and uh, some rubber feet okay this is how it looks like inside and uh, this unit comes with the 48 watt hour battery and um, there's a 19 watt hour as well and two speakers on the side reason is this one is smaller battery because of the SSD uh, space a hard drive that you can add on and this is the RAM uh, the unit comes with 2 8 GB RAM and dual channel and you have two slots you can upgrade to maximum 32 GB and you have the copper pipes on the top uh, between the graphic card and the processor and the fans are self-cleaning there's no vents on the right side it's only on the left side and this is the SSD NVMe SSD 1 terabyte and we can open it up and have a look with some shielding heat shielding there and the Wi-Fi card is underneath the SSD. You can change that. 
Okay, let's put this back. What's great about this layout, you can have two SSDs and then one hard drive bay. So you actually have three storage capacity here. But this is due to the battery being the smaller 48 watt hour instead of the 90 watt hour battery. So you lost the battery, but you gain uh, extra storage space. So do subscribe and uh, remember to click the bell uh, for more videos from me. And uh, again, this is the ASUS Tough Gaming A15 with the Ryzen 7 4800H uh, CPU together with the RTX 2060 uh, GPU. It comes with the 15.6 Full HD IPS panel running at the 144Hz uh, refresh rate and uh, with the dual slot for RAM that can go up to 32GB. Right, before I forget, uh, here's a quick look at the temperature while gaming. Uh, it doesn't reach more than 40 Celsius on the keyboard side and the top. So ran some uh, quick uh, gaming benchmarks. Uh, it's quite a capable laptop because of the new chipset. Um, as well as the cooling has been great on this laptop. On and the fan's not that loud anyway. So color wise, uh, quite accurate. But um, what I don't like is the brightness is about, I registered it at 200 lux. Uh, should be about 250 at least so but that's what's different on this uh, laptop even though the 144 hertz is great but the brightness is lacking so that's all folks uh, do follow me on the next video